Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix online meeting 148, rolling our way into May. It's going to be another short meeting because that's just kind of the way things are going right now, given all the time crunches around. Um, as always, these meetings are recorded for those of you that aren't here with us right now, but if you're watching this recording, you already knew that. Uh, like I said, short meeting. We'll do triage and we'll cover anything that anybody's here, but we just have the usual suspects, so I don't expect a lot of questions for the uh, remainder of the meeting. So let's just keep rolling on in and go do triage. Bob, you ready? I am set. He's set. All right. One closed and all of these other things. Interesting. Closed with no label. All right. Whatever. Command line argument solved by burn affecting related things. I th yeah. So I think I saw something. Yes, that's right. Sean points out. Am I scrolling to stop? That's weird. All right. I can't scroll any farther down. I, that's really weird. All right, whatever. Um, so we apparently don't allow you to continue if the help is provided. Well, the help action it was always intended to not do anything else. Yeah. It's, it's one of the – it's like layout as well. They're both special cases. You don't need to run detect if you're showing help. Correct. You shouldn't call detect if you're just showing help. Presumably. Uh, I don't know well, how you would do it. <laughs> yeah. As and, soon as you say clearly, that, you're like, well... The the design, since it doesn't take an action, unlike plan, um, is that detect isn't something you're going to you know, run. It just... It, it seems weird. Not quite as weird as help slash quiet, but pretty close. <laughs> So the question is, should we change this? Should we allow it in four? That mostly, I think, comes down to a question to Sean if he wants to do something about this, because I know I'm not going to get to it any time <laughs> soon. I mean, I guess the only use case I'm seeing here is if they want to show, like, what version's currently on installed already yeah I, that I'm yeah that's the one scenario I could synthesize out of all this as well I mean technically I suppose if you had you could contextually show different options if you had weird switches that your BA supported during an upgrade maybe maybe I, I mean we're all reaching because clearly we never thought about doing this so yeah I mean, I guess it wouldn't be too hard to just take an action for the detect call. Oh, it I see. Because detect is using whatever the action is built in. It doesn't take one. Right. That'll just kind of muck up the API, but... Well, the, the problem... Uh, so, the issue I see there is that it's not just that we have to add you know, detect needs now an argument, okay? Um, it's more a question of, you know, throughout all of detect, are there, assumption, are there assumptions that would have to change to reflect the ability to add this action? Oh, well, yeah, then there's, yes, you're absolutely right. Then there's all of the other stuff that has to change to make sure that it works fully. Yeah. Well, I mean, I just assumed it was looking at the action anyway, since it's behaving differently between help and install. And in that, in that particular case, yeah. everywhere. Yeah, make sure it goes everywhere and so on and so forth. So. It's looking at the, the default or the uh, inside the engine state. It's looking at what's there. Um, but, you know, part of this, too, is like... Um, uh, that operation that gets logged actually has no effect. It's one of the, it's actually, I think, an issue that we've had um, previous complaints about. We've logged this operation, but this is just detect. There's no planning involved. That operation is just for display purposes. It has no effect on planning. No. Uh, this is one where if, if uh, you weren't um, yeah, I was wondering how detect why detect would care about. The it action. doesn't. It doesn't. It's just the uh, 
Um, we we know the data that we need to, you know, make that call. So I think we said, oh well, why don't we just show it? I don't know. The tech related bundle doesn't care. It's the tech related bundle that cares about the action. My scroll window is. That was the only one I could find. Or rather, that was the path I walked down based on the bug report. So. Yeah. It might be the same for packages as well, because I think we also log that operation. Yeah, it, it's this part here that I'm worried about. That I, I we do care about the install or uninstall based off the related bundle detection. That's what that seems to be saying is that we're doing something there. Yeah, because we supply the operation right in in the callback. Oh, I see. Again, it's. So it's it should have been help. It's read only. <laughs> we should have passed the well. <laughs> operation. Should have been help. <laughs> We're gonna do all your related bundles. Are gonna be done with help. <laughs> that's 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 just wrong. <laughs> Let us pop up, open all the upgrades that we would do, and show help for all of them. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, and, and again, the related bundles will be run quietly, so that'll be interesting. Yeah, I guess what's interesting here is that. Dash H. You could see someone wanting that back, I guess. Wanting it back. Wanting it for themselves. I don't know. <laughs> I keep going back and forth on this. I don't. I think it's fine. If if you need to react to that switch, that's the action. Now you can argue, and I might agree with this, that the the way we stuff help and layout into the same category as install and repair, maybe that's a little weird. Um, but again, it's pretty clear, you know, you look at some BAs out there, help and layout are, you know, special cases. Yeah. What do we want to do with this one? I vote nothing. Sean? Yeah, I'd be fine with that. <laughs> fine with yeah, that? Nothing's... <laughs> yeah, nothing's... Well, I, I say that. Um, there, there are, there's at least one other bug somewhere, and I couldn't find it, that this operation stuff, lo the operation logging, at least, and now that I see it's also, you know, in the callback, it's like, uh, that's even less pleasant. Because it, it's, 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 <sighs> It's obviously it's misleading in this case. If you don't short circuit help or layout and you call detect, then you're going to get data that's not correct. No, the operation is um, going to be incorrect and your log file is going to have goofy stuff in it. If you're reading down to that level, yes. Um, well, what do you but, mean by not correct? Because, like, if you tried to plan with help, like the operation really Maybe would none. be none. That's right. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. I, I again, I'm I'm happy with doing nothing because I think we should just you know be very clear. Look, help and layout are special. You know, you should sort of circuit them. Um, if you want to provide extra detail, well, guess what? It's going to be there. I mean, the data is there. The operation is incorrect based on on the action, um, but it's also, you know, it's also correct because otherwise it's going to have to sit there and try to figure out, you know, here are potential operations that would happen based on available actions, you know, because yeah. if you said, 
you know, install versus repair or whatever. It's like the operation is going to be different. To an extent, I want to say, let's do nothing with this and remove operation. Because I think detect is – the problem is I think detect was a convenient place to put it for, you know, for typical, you know, like no switches. Just, okay, we're going to try and install. Then the operation is useful data. Um, but again, we have another bug on this because of, I think it's related packages because of the whole major upgrade versus detect logic. Mm -hmm. The right thing ends up happening, but we provide data that's not, that's not accurate. Yeah, so I I find saying that help and layout should short circuit and we don't do anything else. It's a doc I think, issue. I think Sean, yeah, I, that and I think Sean's case is like the operation's correct for what it's doing yeah. um, and exposing an action to detect is mad, which gets us to your point of, yeah, just detect it and this is just a, a gap in the documentation of, yeah, this is the way burn will behave in these situations. Yeah, I don't think it's worth the effort to go through all of detect to figure out if there are other places that we should be paying, and, you know, paying and, attention to. And somebody sh would have to make a really good argument that they needed, you know, dash H back or dash question mark back um, yeah. as a command line switch. Basically, it turns into, yeah, you're using burn. Don't. <laughs> like, it just, <laughs> you don't get that switch. Sorry. And yeah, the, the dash H is... You know, fully represented in the action. I don't. I, yeah, Sorry, I don't want If they want it for something else, like if they want it for install. Oh, for I, well, I don't. I don't think that's. I don't think that's what this person's. I don't in either. I, I, it could be they're trying to show help, but like you know, Sean was saying, and they need a detect related bundle, you know, to show the help or something. But. I don't think so. Just based on on the fact that they're not handling the action, I don't think that they. Yeah, understood that it was the action. That's a good point. All right, so I think we've all kind of walked our way to the same point of meh, <laughs> uh, and may this bug forever live as one piece of documentation that says, yeah, we're not. That is the way burn works. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Um, I believe this was fixed. This is a. This is the other. Yeah, this, all right, this is fixed. This is the one for bringing this back to Wix 3.11 and felt like being a nice guy and did the work to make that happen. So, yay. We also, while fixing that, um, uh, hit the VSTS issue and where the Windows Store, where the Windows Store, where the Wix tool set would hang in light or hang when printing out error messages and we tracked that down and killed that one off in that build too so something good came of all of that in the end um, Wix toolset does not install targets to Microsoft build 2017 folder that is correct it does not because that Nor does it install it into the main Visual Studio SKUs that's right so it doesn't that's correct but I uninstalled the extension from inside VS then reinstalled and the targets have been created Oh, they may they they may have needed the updated um, uh, extension to get trampoline um, targets to work. I'd forgotten about that. All right, cool. I think this is resolved now. Um, there there are two ways to solve this. One, I think, if you get the correct VS extension the updated VS extension, then it will add the trampoline targets to keep your stuff working. But if you're using the build tools SKU, which I guess this other person is, you need to update your targets to the new... Um, you need to update your targets to the new uh, way that they're done because MS Build broke it and we didn't come up with any other way to solve that problem. So, so you're, you're saying the Visual Studio Wix extension... Sorry, if you update your targets, targets? The, no. Sorry, the pro, if you update your project to point to have the new pattern for finding the targets, it will work. Right. This build. That's sorry. That's what I meant. Um, what are trampoline targets? 
there are trampoline targets that if you have an older project that you didn't that you don't that you an old project that you have not updated but you have the uh, votive extension installed we install some targets that are will be found in the correct place which will then bounce you from Visual Studio 2010 into um, the place where the Wix target, the standard MS build location. So it essentially, Votive has a workaround for it, but if you want to work without Votive installed, you need to um, update your project file. I need to write all this down one time. Yeah, I didn't know about the trampoline targets. That shows yeah. me I really missed something there. Um, well, it was, that it was the first attempt to make it work until we, I think you pointed out that build tools won't allow extensions and build right, tools right. are hose. And then I had to go back to the drawing board. I remember this because I thought I had it fixed and had to go back to the drawing board and come up with a way of fixing the project file and in the end failed at coming up with a way that was purely backwards compatible. So we trained the, changed the standard project template to work in all scenarios. But if you have an existing project, it, you have to change the new format due to the MS build breaking change. Wow, I was pretty smart back then. <laughs> Anyway, so Nick Nightingale here has one has hit the fact that if he goes loads his extension, it works. And and you know, I tell you what, give this to me in four, I guess, and I will find. I need to write the documentation and get that out there, so there's an easier answer to this. So people, I don't think it's written down well enough. What it's not. It's not. That actually, that's on my my blog list. Um, because we don't actually describe that I could find the changes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Go ahead and give this to me, and I will write that blog entry. I will go dig it all out. It won't take too long. Okay. Wix errors. Unexpected exception does not display parameters in the output window. This has been true forever. And the only way to solve this is to put it all on a single line. What about embedded line feeds in the like stack trace? Embedded line feeds. Do, do they count? Yes, they count too. So that's ne so the stack trace would never show up. Well, unless we replace the new lines with tabs or something. <laughs> yeah, that's going to look good for a stack trace. I'm just saying, like that. Well, no matter what, you have to turn it into a single line if you want to show up inside the output window. So basically, this is still like a, sorry, I, I'm like we could we could drop the explicit character turn line feeds that we're you know throwing in now, but it's still not going to show you the stack trace, which I'd argue is pretty important if you're trying to debug. Um, the answer to this is look at the log file, but yes. Yeah, Jacob, it will have new lines in it, and you know that's why I was saying you can. We'd have to re we have string replace the stack trace to remove all the line numbers or the new lines to end up with just a single line error message. Yeah, that's eight thousand characters long. It will be very long. Mm hmm. I don't know. That seems a bit of overkill. I wouldn't. I mean, fine. If we want to remove the the character turn line feeds, sure. All right. I think we're all kind of. Unless Sean wants to voice dissension, I think we're all kind of in the. Eh. It'll show up correctly in the log file. This is yep. for more advanced users. Look in the log file. Yeah. Okay. I mean, and if he comes up with a way of pretty printing it, then that's great. I'm assuming it's a heat in the picture. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's like, meh. But if he came up with a nice way of pre-printing a stack trace on a single line, be like, hey, that's cool. I'd probably take that change. Because it does bug me a rental. But also, unexpected exception shouldn't happen. He's building extensions, so yeah, that's cool. Um, yeah, anyway. Burn quiet options for MSP that uses display internal UI. Oh, good grief, seriously? Okay. We use different defaults for MSP versus MSI? Yep. Well, that's interesting. 
wonder why we yeah, it's, that. It's, it's a little weird. Well, interestingly, we have a couple different code paths. This is for just like an MSP package, um, which I would expect to have the same defaults as MSI packages. We do things differently if, you know, we're slipstreaming or, um, you know, applying um, a package during the install, but just for like a, a naked MSP in the chain, we say default or I don't remember what they were, but they're different. We have a nice uh, public function to calculate UI level for, well, it's an MSI engine, but um, it's the same thing that the other cases for patches use. So. I don't have an answer. Um, I yeah, Jacob. I think it does. There, there's a path in there um, that re reinforces my idea that display internal UI should have been in with standard BA. Um, yeah, it's it's awful. Um, but yeah, I, I'm pretty sure there's a code path that is triggered by display internal UI. Yeah, I've 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 thought. If I have the cycles, it, I would consider moving, doing the work to move that out of the burn engine and into Wix standard BA. Um, move it, what? The display internal UI. How would you? Okay. Oh. It, unfortunately, I think it would require adding to the interface to to let a BA influence the UI level, which currently it cannot. Which is the other problem, because I think if we do that, then it's just going to cause more people to want to you know, do stuff with display internal UI. So while I'm willing to do a certain amount of work to kill it off from the engine, I'm not sure I want to do all the work that would be required to make it be a configurable. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, I don't know what to do about this. Display internal UI has problems. Yeah, it does. I don't know. Burn quiet offshore must see that you just should still show you what. But is, sh is there some... See, now my fear is that patching needs display needs internal UI, but it doesn't, right? Because we launched it, it quite it a long time. No, no. Uh, in fact, okay. so, you know, it's an old Wix this. bug with with patches. And, um, internal UI, and probably nobody's ever done it. No, it's, well, the problem is there's no, there's no, <laughs> patches are repairs, right? So the problem is there's no way to launch a repair with full UI because there's no standard in, you know, MSI UI to do that. Wix UI, the old school dialog library, doesn't do it. It has maintenance mode, which gets you in the same problem we had with burn and display internal UI. Did I mention I don't really like display internal UI? Yeah, I know um, there's problems all over. Because there's no there's no way to to launch a repair with UI. Um, or sorry, a, a, you can do passive, but a full UI, you can't launch it because there's no standard for it. Um, and if you end up in maintenance mode, then you can, you know, screw up the, the plan or ignore the plan. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, personally, I, it might be as simple as saying patches are always installed um, silently, except some people might want basic UI. I don't know. I, I, I don't think anyone wants it. I don't think anyone wants the current behavior. I would be yeah, fine I, if this I, yeah. bug turned into, you know, patches should always be launched silently. Uh, that would probably break them as well. They probably wanted to respect the quiet option, the burn. They wanted to, res to respect the burn level. Um, 
Yeah. Well, I mean, maybe then. Uh, so I believe the what it's doing right now is doing either quiet or redu or default. Sorry, default. Yeah. So that's going to be basic. Yeah, I mean, it just patches didn't. When we did patches, we forgot to do the thing that says, oh, quiet, add the quiet, you know, make it completely quiet. Right, with the right. Internet, and like, yeah, okay, whatever. Because who would ever do a display and UI for a patch? Well, they can, so they did. And yep. there's the bug. So it's a bug. Someone could fix it. I, I think that's just what it comes down to. It's like, yeah, that's probably wrong. Yeah, that's what I reached. So, Wix 4... X and someone can pick it up if they want to fix it over there? Yep. Okay. Man, we're talking about these things a lot more than I thought we were going to today. <laughs> Missing documentation in Wix v3 manual, creating a bundle. Uh, they did this. This is weird. <laughs> the syntax is like reverse. Um. This is what this is cool. This is like reverse markdown notation. Yeah, it doesn't really work. It, and it doesn't <laughs> work. Um, I'm amused. Command line uses you get reading this documentation leads one to believe that bundle tag is simply another tag available within the main setup project file. Particularly following the documentation from here. Step one, building installation pa package bundle. Simple setup that produces a bundle. Scandal, uh, uh, skeleton bundle authoring. The child recommends the Wix element. So I guess he wants us to be more clear that you need a new project for it to be a bundle? Um. Yeah, I, I get the. Um, I'd be fine if we added a line along that line. Yeah, I think that's what um, it's, it's not clear to me that that it's um, yeah, existentially confusing. But um, well, I because this this um, well, this right here has to be the trigger. The root element is the bundle. But yeah, directly under the wick, so you have to know that. But if you, yeah, I mean, you could like, oh, it's like a fragment. Mm, no, it's not like a fragment. It's like product. Right. I think that's probably the part that's missing. Yep. Yep. Okay. I could see someone fixing that. Steps just manuals within the manuals part of the process. Create a separate bootstrapper project must be created. Yep. Set up and place it in a known location. A reference from the newly compiled MSI must be. To the newly compiled MSI must be authored as part of the process, just as any other MSI would include your bootstrapper. Except you have project preprocessor variables to help with that. Okay. I mean, yeah, so I, I think that would be great. I think it would be great if someone wanted to add to that documentation. I generally agree. Yep. That would be fantastic. Error resources filed are somehow corrupt. Error resources? Oh, DTF. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. They're, they're, it's probably a line ending issue. <laughs> probably. Because those are binary files. Binary um, files that are checked in. Why are these checked in? Exactly, because the source, error, errors.txt, is right next to it. <laughs> so. All right, fine. Someone can fix DTF. <laughs> this should be, yeah, this should be a build fix and get rid of errors.resources right. and everything works better. Great. Toss it in four. <laughs> and we can fix it yep. if they want. Like, oh, whatever. DTF. Silliness. All right. Cool. Well, this meeting went much longer than I thought it would. Not that that's a bad thing. Just, yay. We had more interesting folks to talk about. Although, in the end, I don't know. We kept a few of them and made a few of them go away. All right. Cool. Anything else anybody else wants to talk about? Uh, that basically is you or uh, Jacob or Sean at this point, I think. Well, I can't have questions. You can, but usually you raise them somewhere along the way. Yeah, that's true. I'm impatient. <laughs> Sean is much more patient, and Jacob has to type, so that slows him down. All right. 
I'm going to take that. <laughs> Otherwise, silence. Besides Bob. Um, I think we're going to call this meeting. Uh, so we'll be back in two weeks. Uh, Rolling to the end of May. And um, we'll have more triage and maybe some other things to talk about. But we're still still a little bit. My crunch mode has maintained a little bit longer than I thought it would. Um, probably through June, which is unfortunate, but true. So uh, you guys have a good time in two weeks. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.